Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome. My name is Christina Marie from Beauty on My B. I do the beauty reviews, tutorials, unboxings, spoilers, and giveaways. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the top 10 palettes that I own. I'm a pretty lucky girl. There's some really, really great ones in here. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep on watching. Give this video a big like. I want to welcome anybody who's new here. Thank you so much for checking us out. Every month I do do an eyeshadow palette giveaway. For the month of January, it is the Violet Voss Violet Sunset Palette. Looks like this on the inside is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So how are you guys doing? Let me know, I love chatting back and forth with you guys. You can always chat with me down below or over on Instagram, that handle is beautyama, A-M-A, followed by the letter B, or on Twitter, again, it's that saying beautyama B, followed by the number one. And if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do so. We're such a fun, laid back group here. If you can do me a favor, hit that bell button, mark it to all, and if you are watching on a mobile device, go into your settings and mark those. Want you guys to know when I upload. Definitely want you guys to know when I do giveaways, which I do a lot here on the channel. So let's dive right in. I had a really hard time with this because I have some pretty good palettes. As far as if I were to ever rank these, I don't know if I'd be able to. I mean, it, it would be like, like tough. So let's just dive in. These are not in any order. I do have two Natasha Denona palettes and they're kind of complete opposite spectrum of each other. Um, I do have the Natasha Denona logo palette, and I love how you can do so many different looks with this. I am so in love with this shade right here. Stunning. And then, of course, her glam palette. I love cool tone neutrals, and that's exactly what you get in here. Now a great, I'm going to talk about two palettes that are mattes only. You know I'm a shimmer girl, but the, if you are looking for transition shades, these are amazing. So if you want a, more on the cool tone transitions, the Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. You could do, you know, anything with these. Love this. And then on the warmer tone side, I do like the Viseart palette. I hate talking about some of these because some of these you can't get anymore because they were limited edition, but they're my top 10. And that's what you guys are here to see. What are my top 10? The Tati Beauty Volume 1. She is well used. And she's just so stunning, especially, you know, for these kind of wintry months. Love this one. I do have the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette. This was her holiday release this year. And it's just, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I cannot wait to do kind of like a green lime look with this. Loving this. The next three are from Sydney Grace. They are the, the Temptalia palettes. You guys, her formula is absolutely amazing. It, and I love the Temptalia palettes, especially because they're more of that jewel toned palette color scheme. This is Radiant Reflection. Here is Quintessence. This one here, this is my all-time favorite shade. I mean, I'm a sucker for a periwinkle. But this, ugh. It's, I just love it so, so much. And we have the Sydney Grays on the horizon. This might be one, the like cohesive color story that I like the most out of all of the three palettes. Cannot wait to try more things from Sydney Grace.
And last but not least, um, Madness. It's a palette that I basically put together. So it's from one company and I, this past year I ordered four shades. The year before that I ordered four shades because their shades are very, very, very expensive, like $25 a shade. It is the Calande Cosmetics. And I just have a little, in a little Z palette here, magnet Z palette. But these shades, I mean, let's do the glitters first because these were the first four that I bought. I mean, these are just such pretty, pretty shades. But I do think my favorite formula of theirs are the jeweled multi-chromes, these down here, and how they shift like crazy. Here are the shades. I mean, look at those swatches. Look how they change from gold to pink, from like blue to green. I can't make that one move. From like blue to green to almost a purple, from like pink to purple to gold, from a green to a yellow, to gold. I mean, it's it's just, okay, you guys, one swipe. But look how they change colors depending on how the light is hitting them. They are just absolutely beautiful. I and mean, look at that, you got one, and it just totally changes color. They all do have that black undertone base to them, but they only get used on very, very special occasions because they're so expensive. So those are the top 10 eyeshadow palettes that I own. What are the top 10 eyeshadow palettes that you own? I would love to know that. I love chatting back and forth with you guys in the description box down below, or like I said, over on Instagram and on Twitter. Let me know how you guys are doing as well. YouTube will now go ahead and insert another video for you. If you have the time, I'd greatly appreciate you checking it out. Have a beautiful rest of your day, you guys. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I will see you soon. Bye.